Hello everyone and welcome back in this new video. In today's video I'm going to show you how anti-sync is fixing older Call of Duty games and turning them from having 100 FPS to 400 FPS. So in this video I'm going to use Plutonium Launcher. So first let's begin by trying with Proton Experimental from Valve which is going to use F-Sync instead of anti-sync and I'm going to show you how bad it actually is this way. So as you can see now we are on code Black Ops 2 with F-Sync as the wine sync method. So let's enter into a server. So here it is, look at that, I'm actually getting better FPS than usual, I'm actually getting right now 140 FPS and look at the options we have in the settings, everything set to the maximum quality. Plus, we don't have any uh, V-Sync uh, disabled, so we can see the maximum FPS. And look at that, the FPS is actually going down now, it was like 160 at the beginning, and it's hovering around 120, uh, 140, 150. I'm also <laughs> dying instantly, so I can't even play the game, but um, as you can see, we're getting around 120, 130 FPS average. So yeah, not super bad, of course, but you know. You can feel that you may actually get more FPS on this game because I have pretty good hardware and so only 100 FPS seems weird. Uh, and so now let's switch to Proton GE that will actually default to anti-sync and let's see the FPS. So look at this, we are using Proton GE 10.25 with anti-sync. So let's go online and you will see that this will absolutely completely fix the FPS on this game. So I think I'm entering the same server. Okay, I'm not entering the same server, but it doesn't really matter. Look, 500 FPS! And we're not even in. Okay, okay, okay. So basically I've entered in a match that already ended. So now look at the FPS. We are at 400, dude. We are at 450 FPS. 400 FPS, look at this. Look at this. Uh, this completely fixes uh, the FPS, anti-sync completely fixes the FPS on this game and uh, I've also seen that uh, from Reddit that other people have reported that it fixes code Black Ops 1 and many other older codes and look at this, 400 FPS, like dude, it's this easy and the input lag is basically non-existent, there is no input lag Except if I enable VSync, then there is a tiny bit of input lag, like I can feel that it's not the same as without VSync. But that should be pretty normal when you have VSync on. So yeah, as you can see, with anti-sync, now we get over 400 FPS. And so in cases like this, with these games uh, that are broken with F-Sync, and broken in a way that you get no, no FPS basically, like we went from 100... 20 fps to 400 fps average so yeah as you can see now it is completely playable it was playable before too but now it's not just that i get infinitely more fps but the fps never drops like as you can see like the fps does drop but what doesn't drop is the frame time and the experience is super super smooth and yeah this is an absolutely amazing experience to play so as you can see anti-sync actually fixes the FPS in older Call of Duty games. So let me know in the comment what other games have you tried with anti-sync that is now fixed. I'm really really curious to read and so that's it for today's video. If you found this video helpful please leave a like and subscribe because it really helps the channel grow a lot and I'm going to see you in the next video. Have an amazing day!